Shalom. Kohalo la Yahweh by Hashem Yahushua, which means all praises to Yahweh, which is the true name of the Heavenly Father, who you people in the world frequently call God by Hashem in the name of Yahweh, which is the name of the only begotten Son, who you people in the world frequently call Jesus Christ. Once again, the true names of the Heavenly Father and the Son is Yahweh by Hashem Yahushua. Also, Shalom to the uh, uh, you Akim, you brothers that's pushing and spreading this word throughout the four corners of the earth, who's also uplifting the name Yahweh by Hashem Osha. Shalom to you Akim. Also, once again, uh, Shalom to you Israelite foreigners, the speckled bird, man, woman, the child, whose bloodline traces back to Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob, our forefathers. Though you may look like the heathen nations just scattered amongst, which the heathen nations, as you see in this chart, the nations starting from two on down, those are the heathen nations. Also, if your lineage, your bloodline goes back to these people, as you see on this chart right here, through the man, and if a spirit bear witness with this word and this truth, and you can receive it to the speckled bird, man, woman, and child, if this does apply to you, then you are Israelites, though, once again, you do look like the heathen nations just scattered amongst, due to the scattering of these people, as you see on this chart right here, so you're going to have Israelites, once again, that have the appearance or look like the other nations, but they're in fact Israelites because they're under the curses of Deuteronomy 28, the 15 verse one down. The spare bear witness with this word, this truth, that they are the sons and daughters of Yahweh by Shemel Shah. And also, once again, their lineage goes back to these people through the men. To you few Aqua, you uh you few Israelite sisters that do listen and learn, Shalom. To the elect of the nation of Israel, wherever you may be scattered throughout the four corners of the earth, for this word is going out to, shall warm to you as well. To you so-called Negroes, Latinos, Native Americans, once again, you combine, consist, and make up the twelve tribes of Israel. You are the Hebrew Israelites, the chosen people of the Most High Yahweh, and His only begotten Son, who you eagerly call Jesus Christ. Once again, Yahweh Shah. And um, I got a clip. Basically, you got here the FBI, the Federal Bureau of Investigation, which is, you know, who was controlled by, is controlled by Esau, Edom, the so self-proclaimed white man in the seed line, says they're actively investigating what they call black Hebrew Israelites, which were not black, but different shades of brown. So I'm going to play it, and then I'm just get the scriptures. What's that? Those are the four. Those are the four. And the point is, the point is, we wanted to underscore uh, what I told you earlier, but we wanted to make it even more clear that at the end of the day, for us, it's not about the ideology. It's about the violence. That's where we weigh in. It's not right. that the ideology isn't important for right. us as Americans, but we only investigate violence and the crimes that go with the violence. But so under the racially motivated... Uh, Racially motivated violent extremism. How many African American or black groups are considered under there? Well, uh, again, I want to be clear. Uh, we don't investigate groups per se. We inv we have properly predicated investigations into individuals, and in some cases, they may have co-conspirators. But in each of those instances, it's where we have three things: credible evidence right. of of a federal crime. Credible evidence, number two, of violence or threat or use of violence. And then number three, on behalf of some ideology. So if we have those things, only right. if we have those things will we open an investigation. So, um, so do, are white supremacist groups under racially motivated violent extremism? Or do white supremacists have a whole separate category? Well, again, I want to stay away from the use of the word groups. We certainly investigate uh, white supremacist motivated violent extremism on the same category that we're talking about. So, for example, we just uh, just last month uh, arrested uh, eight members, I think, of a group known as the base. Uh, and there were arrests that were made uh, not just oh, in yeah, my know, home state of Georgia, the, but also getting in Getting ready to go to Virginia, yeah. correct? That was, the that? That, that was the group that was on their way to Virginia? Uh, I, I think that's right. I can't remember that detail so, specifically. So there but. are organizations, and I understand that, you know, when you say you in, just investigate individuals, I mean, that, you just gave an example of a group. So I know that there are a lot of, of white, ex, uh, white supremacist groups. And so my question to you is about black groups. 
And so I don't know, maybe they're black individuals, but under the category of black identity extremism, formally, there were organizations uh, such as the one in Texas and the individual in Texas that was arrested. He was incarcerated for a while. And then after being incarcerated and going on trial, he was released. He had... um, he had activity on a website, and he also had um, literature when he was arrested. Are you familiar with the case that I'm talking about? We've talked about it before. I, th- I think so, yeah. So my question is, are there African Americans or black groups or individuals that are currently a part of the racially motivated violent extremism category? Well, again, I, I don't know that I would speak in terms of investigating groups. We investigate individuals and in some instances, uh, individuals with co-conspirators. Uh, and I would say certainly there are individuals who we categorize and track under the racially motivated violent extremism part of our program management uh, who are African-Americans targeting others. So, for example, mm-hmm. for example, you probably saw some of the reporting uh, about the killing of the individuals in Jersey City, including the killing of the people in the kosher supermarket. I did. Uh, Those individuals were associated themselves with something called the Black Hebrew Israelite Oh, I'm very Which, familiar with them. Um, so, so, so let's we are, use that, that. That would be in that category. So, so let's use that as an example because I'm I'm very familiar with with that group. That group is um, in several. May what you say? Yeah. Well, excuse me, but I'm taking the prerogative of the chair. Um, <laughs> <happened all> <laughs> uh, using that group as an example, is that a group? Because they are open. You know, I mean, you see them on street corners in different groups. They're not a secret group at all. Is that group part of the racially motivated um, extremism? The group. I understand the act that took place. I understand the individuals, and it's not clear their level of association. Uh-uh. What I would say to you on that is that we have some investigations into individuals Mm -hmm. who associate themselves with that movement. Beyond those two people? Yes. Okay. And, um, Director Ray, documents published in... There it is, you know. You got, basically, Esau, he's basically got the scope, you know, on us. But, you know, that's the term they like to use. They like to use black... Hebrew Israelites when it's clear as day that not all Israelites are so-called dark skin. You know, we're different. Let me get a scripture real quick. We're different. Look, if you look on this chart right here, you got not only so-called Negroes, but you got Latinos, man. And this, and within the so-called Latin, the Latin tribes, you got different shades. You definitely got different shades. You got real dark skin, you know. You know, uh, 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 lat- so-called Latinos, you got real light skin. They could pass for Edomites. You even have, as I always open up, which I'm going to get a scripture real quick. Because if you go back to the curses of Deuteronomy 28, right, in 64, what happened? You know, this is Deuteronomy 28 and 64. And the Lord shall scatter thee among all people from the one end of the earth, even on to the other. And there thou shalt serve other gods, which neither thou nor thy fathers have known, even wood and stone. And this is what you're seeing. Okay, we've been scattered via the transatlantic slave trade. Plus, you had Israelites. They were always, you know, Israel. You know, our people, they like to travel. So you had Israelites dwelling within certain lands. And as they were dwelling in certain lands, what? Our women will be with their men and our men will be with their women. You know? So, you had... Just like you got you got tares and you got the wheat. The tares being the heathens, you know, and the wheat being the Israelites. But you have Israelites do that, you know, they uh come out looking like, you know, some Israelites are going to come out looking like heathen, like I always bring out. That's why it says, I'm going to get, let's see. Actually, let me um, get Daniels 9 and 7. This is Daniels 9 and 7 says, O Lord, actually, Daniels 9 and 5, we have sinned and have committed iniquity and have done wickedly and have rebelled even by departing from thy precepts and from thy judgments. And that's why we're in this lower state because we departed 
from our power, Yahweh Bashima Shah, the law, statutes, and commandments, was was our way of governance. You know, our way of uh, uh, of having the standard. You know, but we depart from that. We follow the way of the heathen, and this is the the consequences of doing that. Okay, our forefathers knew that back then. It's like now, us falling completely away from our heritage. Our people don't understand that. This says neither have we walked. Hearken unto thy servants, the prophets, which speak in thy name to our kings, our princes, and our fathers, and to all the people of the land. O Lord, righteousness belongeth unto thee, but unto us confusion of faces as this day, to the men of Judah, and to the inhabitants of Jerusalem, and unto all Israel that are near, and that are far off through all the countries where the thou has driven them, because of their trespasses, they have trespassed against thee. Okay? Them confusion of faces is going to be them... Them Israelite forms, them Israelites that look like the other nations. You have, you know, you're going to have Israelites that look like Edomites, so-called white people, you know? They'll look straight up like Edomites, but they're actually Jake, okay? Because Jake got a certain spirit about them. Jake got a certain, you know, some salt about them. Esau doesn't. You could just tell the difference, you know? Prime example, you got great uh, uh, Blake Griffin, Okay? He look like he he looks like an Edomite. His son looks like an Edomite, but his father's what a so called Haitian, a Levite. So what does that make him? A uh, 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 Israelite man. He's a, from the tribe of Levi. His mother is an Edomite. You know. So that's a prime example. You got a, a dude named China Matt. He looked like a Moabite or Ammonite, one of the two. Which a Moabite is a so called Chinese or Ammon is so called Japanese, but. You could clearly tell that that dude's an Israelite. The way he dressed, the way he talked, okay? You compare China Matt to a, 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 or, a ordinary mobile uh, uh, Ammonite, whatever he is, you could you would tell the difference. You would tell that this dude, he don't act like them, you know? So you're going to have Israelites that look like the heathen as well, you know? On top of that, we're not black. If Jake, if your so-called Negroes was to put a, a black... You know, shirt on, no matter, even if you could have the darkest Jake, if he was to put a black shirt on, he would not match the black shirt. Okay? This is uh one more scripture. It's Jeremiah 12 and 9. It says, My heritage, which the heritage of the Lord is what? You, you Israelites. It says, It's on to me as a speckled bird. The birds run about are against her. Come ye assemble all the beasts of the field, come to devour. And what is a speckled bird? Is a speckled bird one color? No. Nah. If you got a speckled colored thing or object, it's multiple colors. It's different shades of colors. And that's what he's comparing the nation of Israel to. You know? We're all with different shades of brown. Like once again, we come looking like the other nations. You know? It's more Israelites on the planet. The scriptures say we are as the sand of sea, you know. It's more Israelites on the planet than any other nation. But they'll have you believe that China is the most populous, you know, nation. That's not true. Okay? The Israelites are the most populous nation on the planet Earth. Okay? And they want to keep putting a stigma black out there. Okay? Because what it comes down to is Esau, you know, he's uh, 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 he's getting ready to come, you know, with that slander, man. You know? So he's trying to say, uh, uh, you know, they're terrorists, you know. Well, he's trying. You see how he was speaking, you know. Let me get a scripture real quick. Come on. I think it's Proverbs uh, sixteen. Oops. So he's a liar, man. Let me see. I think it's Proverbs 16. Hold on. Let me type in forger. <laughs> now it's not popping up. Hold on, bear with me. Let me get Psalms 58, actually.
There it is. Job 13 and 4, right? It says, Job 13 and 2 actually says, What ye know, the same do I know also. I am not inferior unto you. And that's what these Edomites, this is what they pushed on Jake. They pushed on Jake that they were superior. Jake was inferior. No, they were smarter. Jake is dumb. Jake is, he's weak. They're strong. This is what they've been pushing. And they've used Christianity to spearhead that. Okay? Christianity, black, you know, black culture, which was created by the enemy. Because we're not black, once again. You know? Different shades of brown. Okay, all of this was um created and, and forced on you, Jake's. By your enemy, your suppressor, which is chiefly Esau Edom. Okay? It says, Surely I will speak to the Almighty, and I desire to reason with Yahweh, but ye are forgers of lies. Ye are all physicians of no value. And this is what this man is a liar, man. A natural born liar, man. Okay? That's all he does is lie. Okay? It's clear as day when you're going to have Israelites come in all, you know, different colors. You know, it says the word fortune is to fall, says to smear plaster over stick and glue. And this is what he's doing. OK, this is what they do. Whenever these Edomites feel threatened. OK, they go on the smear campaign. You know, they try to make you the bad guy when they're the true bad guys. You know, real quick, they saying, you know, with terrorists or trying to, you know, relate us to terrorists because it's not just about a group. You so-called Negroes, Latinos, Native Americans as a whole, whether you, you know, accept it or not, yeah, Hebrew Israelites, whether you was, because our you go, people saying, I'm not associated with them. It's not a, a religion. It's a heritage. You are an Israelite by blood. So really, this man is saying that, you know, he's basically saying the whole nation's a threat. And he's been treating you so since, okay? But uh, this is what he does. He's trying to make it seem like we're what? A, a violent terrorist group, man. Okay, what did the, the scriptures say? You know? Right? Let me see. Weapons of warfare. Let me get that. Um, And he tried to, uh, you know, use that, uh, the jersey shooting, which I believe... That they were set up. Them two Jakes were set up by your enemy. Like everybody was set up. You know, just how he set up these different, you know, government officials. You know, he sets up, you know, goes and do an overthrow on these different leaders, these other countries, and set up a puppet. This is what he does. Okay, this is what they're behind the scenes doing. You know? Right? Um, let me see. This is Psalms 46. Not 46. 40, uh. Let me see. Psalms 44 and 1. It says... We have heard with our ears, O Yahweh, our fathers, have told us what work thou didst in their days in the times of old, how thou didst drive out the heathen with thy hand and plantest them, and how thou didst afflict the people and cast them out. For they got not, they got not the land in possession by their own sword, because, you know, that's how these Edomites have you thinking. They have you thinking that they did, they got, they stole this land, or well, they got this land by their own will, by their own might. No, a higher power, a uh, uh, divine intervention was involved in that. Divine intervention was involved in putting you so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans in captivity, man. The Lord put the spirit on Esau, the conquering nation. He put the spirit on Jake, you know, not to really to be powerless, man. So neither did their own arm save them, right? But thy right hand and thy arm in the light of thy countenance because thou hast favored unto them. Thou art my king, O Yahweh, command deliverance for Jacob. Though he though thee will be pushed down, though through thee we will push down our enemies, 
Through thy name will we tread them under our, that under that rise up against us. Okay. Here's the point. For I will not trust in my bow, neither shall my sword save me. Okay? The bow going in what? Complied to your gun, you know, a sword, whatever type of weapon that this man wants you to believe that uh, you're going to use carnally against him. You know? The scriptures clearly say right here that we will not trust in the bow, neither shall my sword save me. You know? But thou has saved us from our enemies. Who? Yahweh by Shem Shah. Okay? And has put them to shame that hated us. You know? And Yahweh we boast all the day long and praise thy name forever. And that's what they don't like. They don't like the fact that we're waking up. We're uh, 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 calling upon the name Yahweh by Shem Shah. Because they know what comes that. You're seeing the effects of that. You're seeing the effects of us waking up and calling on Yahweh by Shem Shah. What it's doing. It's bringing down... This man's kingdom, okay? The Lord said, clearly said, wait ye upon me, okay, till I rise to the prey, man. You know? He didn't say, you know, go grab, you know, an AK-47 or go grab an AR-15, go to the White House, you know, and, and unload on it, man. That's what they want you to, uh, you people to believe. That that's the, the, uh, the, uh, the, 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 you know, that's the vibration we're coming in. No. The scriptures say not to do that. It just I just read it for you, man. Okay. The scriptures also say, you know. Oops. Right. This is uh. 2 Corinthians 10 and 3, for, we, for though we walk in the flesh, because we in the flesh right now, you know, we don't have power, you know, actually, let me get, uh, real quick, I'm gonna come back, if you go to Isaiah the third chapter, we have no power, okay, the Lord took that from us, this is Isaiah 3 and 1, for behold, the Lord, the Lord of hosts doth take away from Jerusalem, which that's us, from Jew and from Judah to stay in the staff of the whole stay of bread, and the whole stay of water. The mighty man and the men of war, the judge and the prophet and the prudent and the ancient. Okay? We don't have a, a military. Okay? Our leaders, you know, they don't have any power. Our so-called leaders, the ones that, you know, Martin Luther King, uh, Malcolm X, these celebrities our people uh, uh, look up to, the basketball players, you know, the pastors, all, they're not, they're not uh, 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 able to get us out of this. It was it was prophesied also in the curse of Deuteronomy twenty eight and sixty eight that I will bring you into Egypt again with ships, and and you shall be sold as bond man, bond woman, and no man shall buy you. Which you going to word buy means redeem. Okay, if it's not of you, how about Shema Shah? It's not going to work, and that's what's happened. We've been stripped of everything. It's going to keep going into it. The captain of fifty, and the honorable man, and the counselor, and the cunning artificer, and the eloquent orator. And I will give the children to be princes and babes shall rule over them. You no know, children out of order, they you know, you know, going against the parents. That's what you see, you know. And the people shall be oppressed by who? Esau and the other nations. Specifically Esau and Edom, okay? Everyone by another and everyone by his neighbor. Because Jake, they kill each other, man. Jake, what do you think so-called black on black, you know, Latino on Latino, native and Seminole? Indian on crime is, man. Jake fighting each other, man. You know? Then when Esau comes around, you know, in the the uh, the red and blue, you know, the police force, Jake get in order, man. Jake don't do nothing. Jake run, you know, seven different ways, man. Okay? The child shall behave himself proudly against the ancient and the base against the honorable. Okay? So... The point being, let me keep going a little bit. Let me keep going. When a man shall take hold of his brother of the house of his father, saying, Thou is clothing, be thou our ruler, and let this ruin be under thy hand. And that day shall he swear, saying, I will not be an healer, for in my house is neither bread nor clothing. Make me not a ruler of the people. And our people have that mentality, man. That 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 sunken place, that loser, you know, no no don't want to have a, 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 a chance of ruling one day. You know, spirit, man. 
they have a, you know, a peasant-like mindset, you know, that hand-to-mouth mindset, you know, as long as they working, you know, under Esau, they got a car, they got all these, you know, so-called goodies of Babylon the Great, you know, they straight, you know, they don't want to be rulers as is prophesied we're going to be anyway, you know, at least the majority of them, you know, because that mindset came from you Edomites, you Edomites destroying us as a people, you know. For Jerusalem is ruined and Judah is falling because their tongue and their doings are against the Lord to provoke the eyes of his glory. And the Lord did this to us. The Lord stripped us of our glory, man. Okay? On who we was back in the ancient world. You know, a nation of, you know, kings, man. And princesses, man. Okay? We, our forefathers were Samson, King David, Solomon, you know, Judah, Maccabees, all of them, man. They were all mighty warriors, but now look at our people, okay? Destroy it, man. So how are we going to come up? How are we going to grab arms and come up against you? It's clear as day that we, we don't have, you know, we don't have our own businesses, you know? And the businesses that we do have don't last long. We don't control none of that. This is all in the hands of the wicked, man. Okay? Real quick. Going back. So this man, he makes us out, you know, to be, uh, as I'm going to get real quick. This is, hold on. You Edomites, actually, you know what? You Edomites have the power to do that, man. Revelation 6 and 4, right? We don't have the power to. Do what you trying to accuse of, of, of us of doing. Revelation 6 and 4. And they went out another horse. Which that's synonymous with power. That was red. And you know that red horse. Because if you go into Genesis 25. 25th chapter. It tells you that Esau came out red all over. Like a hairy garment. So he's that red horse. Right. And power was given to him. That sat during to take peace from the earth. And that they should kill one another. And there was given unto him a great sword. Because that sword is Esau's blessing. The gun, the military, his media, that's all a part of that sword. And that's all his blessing. Okay? This man been given basically dominion over the whole planet Earth. And what has he done? He's taken peace from the Earth. Okay? He's destroyed the mindsets of the people. You know, he's killing people. You know? Destroyed the water. Polluted the air. Destroying the animals. You know? Destroying, you know, just taking... What was originally, you know, like the law, statute, commandments is taking that and making his own law, statute, commandments and pushing that philosophy, you know, throughout the four corners of the earth, man. This is what he's done, you know. These different uh, heathen uh, nations that want, you know, a, a system of their own or, you know, they want, you know, peace within their land. They can't have it. Why? Because this man is in power. Okay, you have the power to do that. Not us. It's clear as day we don't have power. Look at us. You know, Jake don't have the power to, real quick, Jake doesn't have the power, you know, Jake don't even, can't even control his own household. Because you set laws in place, you know, for the woman to be out of order, for the kids to be out of order. You can't discipline your kids, you know. Jake can't even, uh, you Edomites, you could just go in Jake's neighborhood and raise the rent. And Jake, Jake does have, Jake, Jake can't do nothing. All Jay can do is protest, which that don't work, and then eventually they had to move out. Look what you did with uh, uh, major parts of New York, you know? These different so-called, you know, so-called black urban areas, you know, black and Hispanic urban areas, okay? Where Jake used to dwell at back in the 80s and 90s, now you see Edomites there. Why? Because Jake don't have power, man. Jake don't have no economy of their own, which we did at one point, but who destroyed it? You Edomites, you know? Jake don't got no economy, Jake. We have no structure. Our people are at each other's throats like the curse said we're going to be, you know? That's another thing. Jake can't even gather together without getting into a fight, an argument, a fight, and then a, a shootout, you know? This is Micah 2 and 1. But you Edomites, you have the earth in your hand. You're controlling what's, what is and what ain't right now, you know? Micah 2 and 1, woe to them, ooh, excuse me, woe to them that devise, actually, you know what, 
Yep. Says, woe to them that devise iniquity and work evil upon their beds when the morning is light. They price it because it is in the power of the hand. The earth is in your hands. Okay? We not poisoning the water. We not, you know, going around, you know, doing mass shootings like you Edomites are. And you do got Jake that, you know, Jake that is, you know, wicked Jakes out there that do, you know, shoot people. But it's not on the level as you Edomites. Just look at you Edomites history. Okay? Look at your whole history. It's been nothing but a, a, a bloodshed and violence. You know? It's going to say that. And they covet fields and take them by violence. And it started with the tribe of Gad, the so-called Native Americans who are Israelites. Okay? How did you get America? You stole it, man. You killed off a lot of Gadites, man. Look up the Trail of Tears, man, which a lot of people know about that, man. What was that all about? That was you Edomites. You know? Because you covered everything Jake had. Whatever Jake have, you want. You know, that's why when these different uh, Marvel movies, you know, the Marvel comics, you show these superheroes, I mean, that's really Jake in the scriptures. But you want you want that, you know? And they cover fields and take them by violence and houses and take them away so they oppress a man and his house, even a man his heritage. And that's what you do, okay? You oppress a whole nation of people, you oppress nations, man, okay? And you take their resources, you take their goods, you even steal their nationality, you even call yourself their nationality, you know? Look at them Jewish people, them Amalekites, who are also of the house of Edomites, man, the house of Esau. Look what they doing. That's a prime example, man, okay? And say you take them by violence. You have the, uh, the sword, man. Your blessing is the sword, man, you know? You have the power to uh, 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 to act out on violence. We don't have the power. Do Jake do it? Of course they do, but it's not on a level that you Edomites uh, 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 have done. Nobody can beat you Edomites when it comes to rape, robbing, and murder. That's one thing you can't beat Esau in, you know? The Lord told us specifically, you know... Second Corinthians 10 and 3. For though we walk in the flesh, we do not war after the flesh. For the weapons of our warfare, right, are not carnal, but mighty through Yahweh to pulling down the strong down the strongholds. Okay? And what's the what's the weapon of our warfare? Let me read this part real quick. Casting down imaginations and every high thing that exalted itself against the knowledge of Yahweh and bringing into captivity every thought to the obedience of Yahweh shot. Okay, and how are we doing that? What's the weapon we're using to do that? It's the word, you know, this. We don't even have to, uh, let me get this. Hebrews 4 and 12, right? It says, for the word of Yahweh is quick and powerful and sharper than any two-edged sword, piercing even to the dividing of son of soul and spirit and of the joints and marrow and is a discerner of the thoughts and the intents of the heart. Neither is there any creature that is not manifest in his sight. For all things are naked and open unto the eyes of him with whom we have to do. And this is this is that weapon. This word. This word is destroying. Okay? Like it said, the strongholds. Casting down imaginations. Because if you go to Isaiah the 60th chapter real quick. Right? It says, Isaiah 60 and 2. For behold, dark, the darkness shall cover the earth, and gross darkness the people, right? But the Lord shall, shall arise upon thee, and his glory shall be seen upon thee, okay? And why is darkness covered the whole earth? Because Esau, he's deceived the, the, uh, the, the nations throughout the four corners of the earth, like it says in the book of Revelation, the 20th chapter. That's why the whole earth is in darkness. That's why the whole earth is, uh, is washed in lies of Esau Edom, man, Okay? But this word coming out right quick. Let me go into Apocrypha.
just second there's just seven. Hold on, let me get a bed with me right quick. Yep, second there's a six and twenty-eight, right? A twenty no second there's a six and twenty-six. It says and the men that are received shall see it, who have not tasted death from their birth, and the heart of the inhabitants shall be changed and turned into another meeting. For evil shall be put out, and deceit shall be quenched. Why? As for faith it shall flourish, corruption shall be overcome, and the truth, this word. Which had been so long without fruit. Why? Because the earth was in darkness under Esau's lies. Okay? The people you see in power right now. You know? Lying their ass off all the time. Okay? Which had been so long without fruit shall be declared. This word of Yahweh by Shemel Shai is being pushed on the planet earth. And what's it doing? It's bringing uh, uh, down the strongholds of Esau either, man. His lies. You know? And that's destroying his whole entire system. Okay? From the inside out, man. And this is why he's now he's doing what he's been doing. You no, know, he's scoffing at Keynes. He's getting ready to uh come down with that great ref, you know. And he's saying that we're uh the threat. No, it's us pushing uh what Yahweh, what Yah Yahweh, what Yahweh Shah wants to do to you, Edomites. It's not us saying what we're gonna do, we just messengers, you know. For the Heavenly Father, real quick. Let me see if I can find that real quick. And you and, and it's crazy because you would you would be like, how this how powerful this word is because this word is making this man, you know, scramble. You know, he's it's even to the point where they're speeding up on this new world order because this word is going out. They've been exposed so bad that they gotta push this new world order. And they get to the point where they Getting real sloppy. They don't care what you people think anymore. Okay, they want this new world order. Okay. Um, let me see if it's Malachi. If it's not, I'm just gonna go on to the next scripture. Um, let me see. Uh, I probably can't find it. Right? This is, uh... Yep. This is, uh... This is it. Call Lord Allah Yahweh by Shemel Shas. Malachi 3 and 1. Behold, I will send my messages and he shall... And who? The sanctified ones, man. You know? Them prophets, man. You know? Behold, I will send my messenger and he shall prepare the way before me. And the Lord whom ye seek shall suddenly come to his temple, even the messenger of his covenant whom ye delight in. Behold, he shall come, said the Lord of hosts. But who may abide in the day of his coming? And who shall stand when he appeareth? For he is like a refiner, a finer's fire, and like a fuller's soap. And he shall sit as a refiner and a purifier of silver. And he shall purify the sons of Levi and purge them as gold and silver, that they may offer unto the Lord an offering in righteousness. Then shall the offering of Judah and Jerusalem be pleasant unto the Lord as in the days of old, like right now, man. The scriptures say what? Romans, the 12th chapter, make thy bodies a, a, a living sacrifice, man. Okay? Be instant, be instant in season, out of season. Make thy body a living sacrifice. This is what we're doing. Do these videos, you know. Do a uh, prayer, you know. That's what we're doing. As in the times of old, because for a period of time, Yahweh by Shema Shai, he hid his face from us, you know. The Esau and these other nations, they were e they were able to have, you know, their way with us. And now he's pissed off because it's not that that's not the case anymore. It says, As in the former years, and I will come 
near to you to, to judgment. And I will be swift witness against the sorcerers and against the adulterers and against false swearers like Esau is a false swearer. OK. And against those that oppress the hireling and his wages. That the widow and the fathers that turn aside the stranger from his right and fear not me, said the Lord of hosts. For I am the Lord, I change not, therefore ye sons of Jacob are not consumed. Okay? So this is what this is what they're scared of. This word, us pushing this word is us pushing the vibration of what? Yahweh by Shema Shah and what he's getting ready to come and do to the wicked, man. You Edomites, man. Okay? Because that's that that fifth verse applies to you, mostly you. You know? And this is what he don't want. So what's he gonna do? He's gonna he's gonna He's going to basically slander us. You know? He's going to... Uh, I always bring it up. He's going to come down with that great wrath. Because he knows if he had but a short time. This is what he's doing. Okay? Going back to that sword, you know? It's going to start with slander. When he gets... He's going to get everybody on board with him. Say that they are the problem. Then he's going to what? He, once he gets that going... He gonna come, you know, down with great wrath. He's really starting to do it now, okay? This is uh Psalms one forty and one. I think this is it. It says to the chief musician, a Psalm of David, deliver me, O Lord, from the evil man. That's Esau Edom. Esau Edom is that evil man. You know, going back to Micah two, who had worked evil upon their beds. You know, it says, preserve me from the violent man, which is Esau, Edom, which imagine mischief in their heart. Continually are they gathered together for war. And this is them. One of the tactics they use before they go to war with you is to slander you, to make you look like the enemy, to make you look like the problem, you know, to make you look like, you know, you're uh, in you and you and humane. You know, that's what they do. They are sharpened. Their tongues like a serpent, adders, poisonous under their lips. You know what? Let me uh go in the blue letter because I want to get that word sharpen. See what that says. Right? The word sharpen is shanan. And it says to sharpen, wet, to wet, sharpen. Uh, let me see. If you look down here, it says, assail anyone with sharp sayings. Right? So, this is what he's getting ready to do. You know, call you a terrorist. Because you're speaking out against this wicked system of his. This system is completely wicked. Okay? You you claim to be, you know, a God-fearing nation, but you don't follow the ways of the Most High. You you believe you are. You even must believe you are the Most High, man. And now it's being found out. Yeah, you're just the wicked. You're just that wicked nation of people that the Lord has set up. And he's coming, okay, to uh, take you out of rulership. And that's what you don't want. That's what you fear. Okay, that's really what you, you deem, you really deem Yahweh Shah as a terrorist, but you can't see Yahweh Shah. Who do you see? You see the prophets, you see the messengers, you know? You see the so-called black people, you know, since they like to use that term, you know, the ones that's pushing his word, you know? Because I'm pretty sure if you have seen the Most High, you know, if you have seen Yahweh Shah, you would have went after him. Because you, you tried that back in the ancient Roman Empire, man. Okay. If let me see where I left off at, pick up what. Let me read the uh, Psalms one forty and three again. They have sharpened their tongues like a serpent; adders, poison is under their lips. Keep me, O Lord, from the hands of the wicked. That's Esau, Edom, Malachi one and four. But you now you got the two thirds of our people. They're now wicked, and you got the heathen nation. But chiefly is Esau, Edom. Preserve me from the violent man who have proposed to overthrow my goings. The proud have hid a snare for me in courts. They have spread a net by the way, wayside. They have set set gin, gins for me. Right? 
This is what they're doing. It says, they have, let me see. I said unto the Lord, thou art my power, hear my voice of my supplications, O Lord. O Yahweh the Lord, the strength of my salvation, thou hast covered my head in the, days of, in the day of battle. Grant not, O Lord, the desires of the wicked. Further not his wicked device, lest they exalt themselves. This is the wicked device that they're trying to exalt right now is their new world order. But we're in the way of that. Yahweh by Shema, this, the word of Yahweh, the spirit of Yahweh by Shema Shah is in the way of their new world order. Okay? This word going out is in the way of their new world order. So now what they got to do, they got to get rid of the, the problem, which is they deem us a problem. They've been deeming us as a problem. You know? Whenever something go wrong with this man and his system, you Israelites are automatically to blame. Okay? It says, as for the head of those that compass me about, let the mischief of their own lips cover them. Let the burning coals fall upon them. Let them be cast into the fire, into deep pits, that they rise not up again. That's literally what's going to happen. Because the Lord is going to destroy your whole system. The last plague is going to hit in the missiles. They're going to burn America up. And America is going to be a desert. It's going to be no more. You ain't going to have a, a headquarters, you know, to work wickedness from anymore. You know? Let not... uh. An evil speaker be established in the earth. He shall hunt the violent man to overthrow him. And this was getting ready to happen. You getting ready? You eat are getting ready to be thrown out of power, man. And these events that you're seeing taking place, the COVID nineteen, the economic collapse, this is all a part of your overthrow. You know. So you uh, they gonna fight back. You know, they're gonna fight back. I know that the Lord will maintain the cause of the afflicted and the right of the poor because when these devils come in, they're going the Lord's gonna lift a standard up, man. Okay? We don't know how he's gonna do it, but he's gonna do it. Because he said he's gonna do it. You know? He's gonna uh, uh when Esau Esau think he's gonna come in and just get rid of us, just all for all of us, because the only ones he's gonna get is the two thirds. You might get a few martyrs, but you're not gonna get all of all of us, especially you're not gonna test the elect. The Lord's gonna stop that. You know, he's going to lift that stand up according to Isaiah, the 49th chapter, the 59th chapter, and the, the 19th verse, you know. It says, surely the righteous shall give thanks unto thy, thy name, and the upright shall dwell in thy presence, man. You know. So we're going to be good at the end of the day, you know. Esau. Let me end it with this, actually. Yep, this is uh, Revelation 12 and 7. I'm going to start at 7, and it says, And there was a war in heaven. Michael and his angels fought against the dragon, you know, Esau, the system, you know, and the dragon fought and his angels, you know, going to Esau's, you know, he got the space force. That's why they're setting that space force up, because they're getting ready to fight uh, uh, Yahweh Shah and the angels, man. Okay, the chariots, man. Them same chariot sightings that you've been seeing, the so-called UFO sightings, that's why that's what Esau's been preparing for with the Space Force. You know, all these satellites he got in the space. Okay, he's been he's preparing for Yahweh Shah coming. Okay. It says, and prevail not, neither was there any place, was there place found anymore in heaven, because they were destroyed, man. If you read Second Ezra, the 13th chapter, it goes more in the description on what's gonna happen to Esau and the rest of these heathen nations, you know. How they're going to be fighting each other in World War III. And when they see the chariots, they're going to team up together. But what's going to happen? The Lord's going to destroy them with them chariots, man. Okay? And the great dragon was cast out. That old serpent called the devil and Satan, was which deceived the whole earth, the whole world. You know? He was cast out into the earth. And his angels were cast out with him. Because he's going to be he's going to be destroyed, man. And really, he's going to be taken out of power. He's going to be knocked out of his heaven. And our heaven is going to be set up, you know. The kingdom of heaven is going to be set up. And they're going to be on the bottom in the kingdom of heaven, you know. And this is what they're preparing for right now. They're going to do everything, you know, 
possible to, to, to prevent this, but it's not going to work. You know, if the counsel be of man will come and not, but if it be of Yahweh, it shall stand. And this is the will of Yahweh by Shema Shah that you Edomites go down, you heathens go down, and his people be set up. You know? It says, and I heard a loud voice saying, Heaven, now has come. Let me see. Yep. I heard a loud voice saying, In heaven, now has come salvation and strength and the kingdom of our power and the power of his Hamashiach, Yahweh Shah, for the accuser of our brethren is cast down, which accused them before our power day and night. Okay? And this is this is uh what's gonna happen. He's gonna be thrown down, man. We come into the time when he saw it's gonna be physically taken down. Okay? And this man, he 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 made you you Israelites. He set up all these stumbling blocks, you know, the churches, you know, black culture. You know, he set up uh, 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 all these just different traps, it's the prison system, all these different traps is, and drugs, you know. All these different traps is uh snare you Israelites, okay, to keep you um sinning and going off, okay. And while he was doing it, okay, he was accusing you to your own power, saying, look at these people. You you think they deserve their own king? You think they deserve to be rulers? Look at them, you know? Look what they eat. Look how they, you know, kill each other. Look at the drugs that they use, you know? Look at the music that they push, you know? That's what he's been doing, but he's going to be he gonna be taken down, man, okay? The scriptures say we're going to be blameless, the elect. They're going to be blameless in the eyes of the Lord, man. So Esau could come with all types of slander all you want. Because at the end of the day, the Lord sees everything that's going on. He sees the wickedness that you're doing. He sees and knows what you're plotting to do, you know? You lose. You going to lose. Not us. We already lost. But we in a time now where that's about to change. <laughs> the plowman is already overtake the reaper, man. You being the reaper, okay, of all everything. And Jake being a plowman, but that's gonna switch, you know. So I got you know the point was made, I got what I need to get. And um call Hello Allah Yahweh by Shim Yahweh Shah. Shalom to the elect, Baba Kasha, Baba Baba, Aba Baba, Aba Ha Yabi, Aba Ha Yabi. And uh Shalom once again to the elect. And you few aqua that do listen. Shalom. You sisters, you Israelite sisters.